Hi everybody, this is Summer, lactation consultant here with Done Naturally. Welcome. Today we are talking about a medication that has become very common in conversation. The medication is called Ozempic. This is a medication that is approved for use in people with diabetes, specifically type 2 diabetes. Now what's been happening over the last mm, year and a half is that more and more people are being prescribed this medication for rapid weight loss who don't have diabetes. This is called off-label use. So the FDA has approved this medication for people with type 2 diabetes. This medication has not been approved for people who do not have type 2 diabetes. What those implications might mean later on, we don't know. When we use medications off-label, we don't necessarily know those consequences. We haven't run those studies yet. I'm specifically talking in for today about people who are milk makers. So people who are breastfeeding and pumping. And I've had questions from mothers about, can I use this medication? Can I use Ozempic and breastfeed and pump for my baby and provide that milk? Will it impact my milk supply? Will it impact my baby? I don't have all of those answers, but I will tell you what Dr. Hale from Medications and Mother's Milk from Infant Risk says about this medication. This medication is rated as an L3, so a lactation risk category of level three. If you've watched my Medications and Mother's Milk video, which you should, I go into detail about what all of that means. But real quick, we prefer in order L1, L2, L3, L4 is hazardous, L5 is contraindicated. So the fours and fives, we don't like. Ones, fantastic. Twos, great. Threes, usually. This medication in particular, Ozempec, has a molecular weight of over 4,000 Daltons. Now what that means is that it's a really big medication molecularly, and it makes it really hard for that medication, nearly impossible, to get through the mammary cell walls. So very unlikely to get into our milk and impact our children while breastfeeding, while providing breast milk. So does that mean it's safe to use while breastfeeding? Well, we don't know a lot. My biggest concern for my women that I work with, for postpartum families, is using a medication that's not approved for that type of use. So someone who does not have type 2 diabetes using that medication in effort to get rapid weight loss. What this medication does is mess with your hormones, but also the feeling of hunger. So a lot of people lose tons of weight really, really quickly because they don't feel hungry. Now there are also side effects that aren't so great, like bloating, diarrhea, tummy upset, um, tummy distension, not great stuff, gas, basically GI symptoms. The other thing that needs to be addressed is that in the postpartum world, in the, in the world of female bodies, we need to give people grace, okay? Women have just given birth. They've just grown a human life inside of their belly. And that requires weight gain. And that requires body changes. So that takes time. It takes about nine months to get that large and for your uterus to grow and gain that weight. Well, guess what? It can take nine to 12 months for a body to sort of get back to where it was before. It doesn't go all the way back. Everything shifts a little bit, but we need time and we need grace. So if we're talking about a medication like this that encourages rapid weight loss in milk makers, what are we doing? Are we perpetuating the idea that we need to hurry up and get back to our pre-pregnancy bodies? Probably, that's not okay with me. We have extra fat for a reason. We're sustaining a life. 
we have body fat on our bodies because we are making milk, because we want our hormones to function properly, because we want to be healthy. So I want to caution women in their milk making time against use of Ozempec when you don't have diabetes. If you have diabetes, whole nother story. It's approved for use. It's not going to impact your infant. It's not going to impact your milk supply. But let's steer clear of medications that we don't know the consequences. Does anybody remember the medication thalidomide? This was very popular in the 50s, probably into the 60s, not remembering exactly clearly. But this was a medication that was used in women who had hyperemesis during pregnancy. So can't keep any food down, always nauseous, vomiting, losing weight, not gaining weight. They used this medication and it worked. Well, later, after many studies and incidences, they found out these women's babies were being born without limbs. And it was the cause of the use of thalidomide during pr pregnancy. Not good. So when we're using a medication off-label, without studies, when we're using a medication that's indicated for use for type 2 diabetes on people who don't have type 2 diabetes, what are we doing to our bodies? Hormones are so important. We're going to mess with that? What's that going to do down the road? It's just scary. Not to mention that I'm under the impression that this medication is very expensive. And for many, the elite can afford it, which is very frustrating. And what about the people who actually need the medication, who have type 2 diabetes? Are we pushing this medication out to people who don't need it and removing access to the people who actually do need it, making it more difficult to get that medication? Probably. In 2022, December of 2022, there was 1.2 million prescription filled, million prescriptions filled of Ozempec. That was a 64% increase from the December of 2021. Do you think all that was people with type, type 2 diabetes? I highly doubt it. It's all over the fashion magazines. You're seeing people be thinner than ever, some of them extremely unhealthy looking. Let's be cautious. Let's move back into grace. Let's move into eating mindfully and healthfully, exercising our bodies, giving our postpartum bodies time, not rushing into anything and using a medication that it's not approved for. So is Ozempec safe while breastfeeding and milk making? Will it impact your milk supply? No. Will it impact the baby? No. Will it negatively impact you? I don't know, and I would urge extreme caution. That's what I have today. You guys have a good day, and you will see me on more Hot Topics another time. Thanks so much. Bye.